If you happen to be a logical STEM man and have trouble connecting with women because of your perceived social limitations, then this video is for you. I'm about to teach you exactly how to use that amazing logical STEM brain of yours to have wonderfully fluid conversations with women that create attraction while building on connection. So keep watching. The other day I had this wonderful guest on my podcast, the Ask Women podcast, which I'm sure you've listened to. His name was Mike and he helps STEM professionals improve their social confidence. They can have great connections, both romantically and personally. And he shared an awesome lesson on the show that I'm about to share with you with my own little twist, of course. The lesson was on how to talk to women in a way that makes your conversations more interesting and engaging by perfecting the art of storytelling. He shared with me that the art of storytelling does not come very naturally to a STEM man. And in fact, many men have a hard time telling stories to women because telling a woman a story is very different than telling a man a story. Women need a lot more touchy feely parts in order to be engaged and potentially turned on by your stories. Most male brains, especially those brains that are more STEM inclined are going to lean towards linear logic. One plus one equals two. Whereas conversation with women is more like one plus one equals 140 sometimes. Conversation that creates connection and attraction for women is most often not linear. In fact, the more linear and logical it is, the more it lowers any chances of attraction and connection. What Mike suggests to the people he works with is for them to get better at storytelling. And in order to do that, they have to prepare in advance. And I know you know, I'm not a huge fan of rehearsed routines and lines, but this is different. This is simply mentally preparing yourself just like you did for those exams that you rocked. And having a good conversation is just like writing an exam you are totally ready for and prepared for. If you've ever written an exam that you didn't study for, been there by the way, you will naturally feel more nervous and anxious and foggy. Your heart's gonna beat fast. You'll have empty head syndrome. But then if you write an exam that you did study for, you would be more confident and excited and relaxed. As I said before, it's the same in conversation. As you know, if you feel unprepared for conversation, then you're going to react in a similar manner. You'll be all over the place. You won't know what's going on. Your heart's gonna beat fast and your head's gonna go empty. It's high pressure. And then slap on a smile, two breasts, and a chance of having sex, and it's gonna 10 times what you're feeling. That's why preparing your conversation so that you can feel more calm, present, and relaxed can be so helpful. And this doesn't mean preparing scripts that you have to follow, and if you go off it, it totally like, Fs you up. It just means taking a little time to prepare what you want to say so that a female present doesn't totally mess you up so that you can't properly be yourself. So here are the steps to help you mentally prepare non-logical linear conversation and stories that attract women and create connection. Step one, identify the top topics of conversation. And for the most part, there are really only five topics that people talk about, right? Work, family and upbringing, travels, hobbies and what you do for fun, and then passions and ambitions. So step two is a knowledge dump. For 30 minutes a night, I want you to pick one topic and just start writing about each topic. Literally do a knowledge dump, your knowledge dump on work, for example. Write everything down about work, what you do, how you got there, how you'll get to the next level, what you think about your work, what you don't like about what you work, what you do for what you do, blah, everything about work what you think about the people you work with, and so on. You can also talk if that's a better way for you to express yourself and record yourself with your phone or something instead of writing down. Step three, story structure. Once you have gotten all of your tidbit thoughts on topics out, I want you to start putting the stories together one topic at a time. For example, the story when I moved to Canada or from Canada to the United States, the story of when I started my business. So there's stories, you get it, right? Two to three stories for each topic that follow the typical storytelling structure. The setup, the content, the resolution, which you can Google to get more details on. And I can also help you with that if you are part of my email coaching program. Step four, add in sensory words. Adding in sensory words is the real meat of this and the part of this that's going to have the most impact on your conversations with women. And the area that most men, especially STEM men, fail to do and to add into their conversations. Again, linear, logic, bullet points, headlines. That's how you, how you guys talk. And women 
want that layer beneath. The sensory words give the layer beneath. So as you write out your stories in typical linear way that you do, add in sensory words to lighten it up and make it more digestible for others, especially women. So for example, what did you see? What did you think? What did you hear? How did it feel? Which makes your story way more engaging and easier to connect to for women because we women always wanna hear the why behind the things you share and feel. The feelings, the, the real story behind the basic story, the tidbits that make the story personal to you and tell who you are. Highlights and bullet points are fine, but the real juicy part is when you can dive into the whys. The whys make both you and women you're talking to feel something about you and for you. So these four steps, if you do these, it'll take like a week, help you feel more prepared for any conversation that she's gonna throw your way. You'll have all these in your back pocket ready to go. After you do this, you will be able to quickly access conversations even under times of extreme nervousness and that empty headed feeling will not exist anymore for you. And once you have a few handfuls of stories in your back pocket, you'll notice that your conversations with women will start to shift because you're not focusing on all that front end stuff anymore. You're actually getting to focus on the connection. Women will become more engaged in what you're saying and you'll also feel more connected to the feelings behind what you say. Something I know can be a challenge for all men but comes very easily to women. And don't worry, I'm not turning you into a woman by doing this. But I'm sure the next question that I'm sure you have is how do I use these great stories and conversations to build attraction with women? And the answer is that a lot of that will naturally happen once you start talking this way. Connection will just become easier and women will be more engaged in conversation with you. But if you want to take your conversation up to that next level, which I'm sure you do, the level that builds amazing sexual tension and sparks attraction, then you need to learn how to banter. Banter is not something that comes naturally to a lot of people, but lucky for you, it can easily be learned. And if you are a true STEM guy, then this will be super easy for you because if there is one thing you kick butt at, it's learning. Here are five facts you should know about banter and why it's so important to you and to women. Fact one, I'm sure you know this, but women rate a sense of humor as the most attractive quality a man can have. And banter is humor. Fact two, bantering demonstrates the kind of wit that makes women laugh without the common mistake of going into clown mode. Fact number three, many men struggle with texting and dating websites because they don't know how to build that vibe that women respond to. But when bantering is added to digital conversation, it quickly builds attraction and dramatically increases the chancing of landing a first date. Fact four, women love men who are playful and bantering gives them the good feelings of being back in the schoolyard, which builds that all important trust and connection. Fact five, bantering is the foundation of flirting. It shows confidence, social intelligence, and it creates a fun dynamic that women are irresistibly drawn to. All five of these facts should hammer in just how essential banter is to your conversation. And that's what motivated me to create the ultimate guide on how to banter with women. Because knowing just this one skill can make a dramatic difference to how women feel about you. So if you're ready to start having more exciting and attractive conversations with women, then you need to check out this five minute video I've made for you on bantering. The video shows you how throwing a little banter into your conversation can totally transform your interactions with women and give you that edge that you've always wanted. It's a quick five minute video that explains how to have conversations that naturally build attraction through playful banter and how an attraction building conversation should unfold. To watch this quick five minute video, all you have to do is go to winggirlmethod.com slash banter guide and you can watch the video right now. And when you get to this page, you can also get a ton of banter examples that you can use as your templates for your own future banter sessions with beautiful women. Guys are already writing to me every day with crazy success stories since they started using this banter guide. To check out and discover how to communicate with us women in a way that ignites desire and builds sexual tension, go to winggirlmethod.com slash banter guide. Let me be your wing girl and share all my secrets with you. I'll see you next week.